I'm going to show you the difference between a genuine whole set HX35 turbo versus a whole set copy version that you commonly find on eBay and Amazon that doesn't have a name brand. Here's a genuine one. These are two fakes. This is a genuine turbine housing. That's the fake one. Those are two non-genuine bearing housings and turbine shafts to match those. Okay, so let's go over the fake ones first. This one claims to be an HX40, but it's not. The only thing different about this one compared to this one is that this bevel is bigger. The wheel size is the same size as the factory HX35 compressor wheel. I think these are 54 millimeter compressor wheels. There's an HX35 that has an 8 blade 56 millimeter. The 7 blade was a 54 millimeter that came on the Dodge. Here's your two turbine shafts. I think this one's better quality than that one. You could tell a difference in the tent. Even though both these are fake, one was more expensive than the other. And when they're selling at such a cheap price, you just wonder what corners they're cutting. The difference in this turbine is you can see that it's face milled right there. This one was not face milled. So it's just cast right there, but it was still drilled to be turned down. So main thing, I think that this one is a better quality one because you can see the difference in color. It's supposed to have an in-canal turbine to withstand the heat. The bearing housings both look good to me. I'll show you the difference in the thrust bearings because this is the most important part of the whole video. I'll also show you a difference in the journal bearings. This is a whole set genuine thrust bearing. What you're looking for here is oil feed hole size. This has large oil feed holes in comparison to the other two thrust bearings you see here. These are the two copy thrust bearings. This one's lesser quality than that one. Both of these, the holes are way too small in them. This one is made out of a different material. This type of material commonly cracks I've seen it happen on other models, but I haven't seen it happen on the HX model. This one may be okay. I've never seen this one crack before, but I haven't seen very many of these either. See this one, it doesn't have any machine marks down in the center there. It's just like a cast piece. You can see how small the oil feed holes are there. The holes were not drilled from the bottom and they were not drilled from the top. That's why they had to make the holes much smaller because they drilled them from the side there. This is the other version. These were not drilled from the bottom or top either. So they were drilled from the side also. So the holes are still too small in this version. This is a thrust bearing that we use. They're drilled from the top and then they're plugged up. Whole set did that a lot on their thrust bearings, but they didn't do it to all of them. I'll show you an example of a whole set one that's also plugged up. But yeah, you can see how big the oil feed holes are in comparison. This is going to determine whether the turbo lasts or not. You need a good quality thrust bearing. If you change that in these turbos, they're probably going to be okay. I would say at least one of them would be okay. The other one would probably still have problems because of the turbine shaft look like it's per poor quality. This is a genuine HE351VE whole set thrust bearing. You can see how it was drilled from the side and then plugged up. Just the same as the thrust bearing in our rebuild kits. The compressor housings are pretty good quality in comparison to the whole set covers. Compressor housings. See these don't have like any air pockets in them that I could tell but the whole set compressor housings have quite a bit of air pockets in them. These compressor housings I think are better quality, but the main thing that is going to determine how long the turbo lasts is this bearing right here. This is the way the drill bearings are for the whole sets. Some of them are, have grooves and some don't. The newest versions always had the grooves in there. 
It just helps oil get all the way around the bearing. One of the fake turbos had a groove, but it was a little bit wider. And it was also a little bit different. It had more of like a, I guess, a rounded fillet in there. And then the other one was just had no groove, which is completely fine. Those are what hull set used before they changed to the groove bearings. And they used those for a very long time. Here's all the other parts that they had internally. Everything that I see there looks like it's good quality. The other thing to talk about is the exhaust housing. I don't think that this turbine housing is good quality. It says that it's a 10 CM on it, which doesn't really make sense because not uh, no such housing that I'm aware of was on the Dodge with a 10 CM. The divider is much thinner on this housing, which is going to be or make it much more likely to crack and have pieces come out of it so that is a really big concern there I'll show you the size of the divider on the Dodge the hole is smaller I think well that part probably doesn't really matter that much all right so the Dodge housing okay let me take this out this hole's bigger Flap design is different. See how big the divider is on this? That's going to help it last a lot longer because it's it's much thicker. This one is cracked. This is a customer of mine. He wanted to replace this. You can see the divider is much thicker. I'm concerned about using one with the divider being so thin because pieces can crack off of it. Let's get a comparison of size. Uh, dimension from here to here. It's much larger on this housing, on the Dodge housing. Here's a whole set compressor housing, a genuine one. So these have a lot more porosity in them. The other things I or the other thing I like to do with the hull sets is I'll cut a an O-ring groove on the bearing housing so that it seals up against this piece. The hull sets, not all of them are completely cut at this area because they sometimes have a bad casting. So sometimes I'll have to go back and machine the compressor housing and the bearing housing for an O-ring to match so that it will seal properly there. That's a main thing I don't like about the hull sets is that they never had an o-ring to seal here. I've seen some of them seal without having the o-ring. I guess the corrosion builds up and kind of seals it, but I prefer to go back and redo them. This is a different version of the hull set where it doesn't have the machined inlet. Some of them are machined, but you know both versions still have the same quality casting in them. Most of the time, I spend more money on the used, genuine hull sets that need rebuild than buying a new one of those. And I continue to do that. I just think these are much better quality than those are. Plus, I mean, I don't know if people would really want to buy that from me either. Because what I do is I take turbos and I machine them and upgrade them. And if I was to sell that kind of quality, I think it's just bad for business because I'd rather have something that is genuine, that people can trust. But I'm sure there's people that are on both sides of the fence that some say that's such a good deal to get that. But I showed you all the different quality problems here. Those thrust bearings will go bad eventually because the oil holes are not large enough. But if you run low boost, you probably won't ever see that problem. But if you run high boost, then it will definitely give you a problem eventually. You know, the shaft I think has broken it, but we just go back and repair them like new and machine them for larger wheels. That's the majority of what we do for our business. Now you can see how much oil that one was leaking. So this whole cartridge is going to have to be replaced in this one. We replace everything that is necessary to be replaced, but
but we don't use these kind of parts that you see here. These Ian bought to try and get a good turbine housing to use. And I think one of these actually had a good quality turbine housing that was very similar to the genuine, which I think that's what he used that for. All this other stuff was left over because we didn't feel like any of this was good quality. Here's our version of the whole sets that we build. We also sell on eBay. Ours are more expensive, but they are made in America by us. You can see I machined it for the bigger turbine wheel. I have several videos that show me doing the machine work. So if you want to check those out, or if you're interested in a turbo upgrade, we, we have plenty of these turbos that we build and we seal the compressor outling with an o-ring. I do a lot of touch it, or a lot of fine details with these, so I put a lot of time into them, but I can tell you, if you buy a turbo from us, you're gonna get a much better quality turbo. I have one T51R mod compressor housing for a 67 millimeter compressor wheel available if you wanted to buy the whole turbo with that. I have it listed on eBay right now. And here's one that has a 62 compressor wheel. It doesn't have a machine inlet style. I prefer that style. This is just a different version. This one came off of Ian's BMW. I don't think he's putting it back on there. I think we're gonna do a different turbo setup on that. So that one's also available. I don't think I have any other ones that are built right now, but I can build, build you whatever you want. 